cow manure in a can. We got a little dangler, dude. The, whoa, freaking. Oh my gosh. Let me just see how far this thing will go. Oh, sometimes I wonder what I'm getting myself into by continuing to do this. I've never learned my lesson, I reckon. Ow! Long time no see, mother truckers outlaw back up in this son of a- So I was in town the other day, okay? And I had to get some diesel for the old ratter, right? Went inside because the freaking pumps were down to pay cash. I feel like I'm an old man having to say that nowadays. <laughs> I got younger siblings and I don't think they've ever had cash in their life. <laughs> well, I guess they have because, well, you know, cash app. <laughs> and while I was inside, I saw a sign. And now I knew these were around, but I almost forgot about them. And I was like, wow, dude, 2017 Outlaw would have grabbed this instantly and made a gosh dang video right away. But now I'm like, every time something has to do with diff, I'm like, man, I wouldn't have to do a video on it so yeah, but I shouldn't. Look at that gosh dang cashier. I said, hey, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you. There's nobody else back here. Pull behind you, see that some dick that says PAX. No, not that freaking pack of cigarettes. You believe old outlaw went to a gosh dang gas station and ordered Copenhagen? 2021 starting off really weird, y'all. I don't know how to feel about it. And then he gave me that can and I freaking took it and said, thanks, bud. What I'm talking about is Copenhagen packs, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that can right there. God dang, man, there's a freaking hair on it, man. You know, I know my, my whole set here, it just keeps changing because I, I just, you know, I got the freaking light shining through my bison, dude. Come on now, man. Oh, look at my new warthogs, man. Just got my warthogs back. I'll get. I'll show y'all this one because this one over here, the jawbone broke and I got to glue that some dick back. But I've been starting to get some of my mounts back from Africa. And there is one of my warthogs, uh, shot both of them with my bow. Pretty freaking cool, man. And actually, believe it or not, don't taste that bad at all, man. The freaking meat was good. Yeah, what a crazy animal, man. Pretty gosh dang cool. I'm shoulder mounting one of these and I'm gonna do it over my gosh dang toilet and it's just like screaming like, you know? Right, like when you're taking a piss and you're, the person looks up, you know? That's what I was, I was thinking about that for years before I ever shot a warthog. So now it looks like a freaking slap jaw. <laughs> We're gonna call this some dick slap jaw. Man, that reminds me of, I shouldn't say it though, but that reminds me of Predator. Remember Jesse Ventura and Predator? Bunch of slap jaw around here. This stuff makes you a sexual tyrannosaurus, just like me. Copenhagen packs, y'all. All right, down to the nitty freaking gritty here. Okay, can, I gotta admit, man, I got my problems with Copenhagen, but the can, you know, not too bad, not too bad. It's got the freaking gold lettering with the green, you know, not too shabby, right? Now, these are basically their new pouches. Now, I didn't, now I saw the Copenhagen pouches still on the shelf, you know, their regular pouches, but I don't know if they're gonna transition into these packs. I've been, I, I've only seen a few vidges on them, you know, I'm usually the first guy to do a video on this new crap that comes out, right? But most of you know how it goes. Most of you figure it out. I think it's time to crack this little bitch and get us some paints. What y'all think? I don't give a shit what you think. Shut up, Dave. Oh, what the dick, man? You can barely hear it because they changed their labels. It's a gel label, dude. They have no more paper labels no more. What the hell? And it's pre-cut. Holy dick, man. I don't know if y'all can freaking see that, man, but let me get up in there. It's pre-cut. What the? No! You're joshing me. Okay, so we got the freaking Copenhagen. Whoa, okay. I've never, holy dick, dude. We got a freaking dangler, son. We got a little dangler, dude. It's a freaking speed bag. It's a gosh dang speed bag, man. Don't, 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 don't. Call me Floyd. <laughs> dude, whoa, there it goes, bud. There it goes. Just a little too powerful, these hands, you know? All these YouTubers now freaking trying to fight, dude. You freaking fight, man. Copenhagen packs. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. These are awkward, dude. I, I honestly don't know about these at all. This looks like straight up like like a, like a cow manure in a can. Let's go ahead and... What the freaking dude? What? The... Whoa. I'm not even exaggerating, dude. These things are freaking... Oh my gosh, the feeling. Dude, it's the greatest feeling of all of the times. You know those like stress balls things? This is like a relax ball, dude. 
Oh my gosh, talk about getting a finger buzz. Y'all, y'all sons of dicks ever, like when you were a kid, you just take a pitch, a long cut, and just sit there and hold it in your finger. But dude, these straight up feel like pillows in your fingers. This is crazy to me. Obviously, um, if you weigh this out, this is probably a two gram pouch, I would say, but they do feel really light. I know you guys can't see what I'm talking about. I apologize, it's been a while. But these things here, dude, just look at the freaking pillowness. I can't even, I wish you could have feel a vision right now. This is insane. What a weird bag too. It's like, <gasps> what the, dude, you can stretch them. What the, you can see the dip inside. What the hell? What is this material, dude? This is like from space, man. You know how like some asteroids hit sometimes and they don't talk about it? Freaking Copening is out there gaining shit from other gosh dang worlds. It's like we're gonna make dip pouches out of this son bitch, man. You know, I went through all these scientists, I went through NASA and they're like, what are we gonna do with this? Make a freaking awesome trampoline? Cope's like, we'll take it. New pouches, bitch. Fucking buy it. What the shit? Oh God, sorry guys, just a little. All right, I'm not messing around, dude. I'm not kidding, this feels great to play with. We gotta try it out first, all right? So it is a pouch and I always feel like pouches, I don't know, every time I have a pouch, I always throw her upper decker, man. I just love a good upper decker. So let's, this is a big, it's a big sum dick. I think it's about a two grammer. And you could, dude, the crazy thing is with it being stretchy like that, you can, you can put it however you want. What the, dude, this is like insane to me. How do they do this crap? Wow, this is the freaking future, man. Can you believe I'm saying this right now? I can't even believe I'm saying it, man. That's insane. Now, I don't, I ain't getting nothing yet. Obviously, this is Copenhagen and Wintergreen, Wintergreen flavor. But the packs, I thought they were honestly just a bigger pouch that were like circular. I didn't know that you, they were like pliable and stretchy. That's insanity, man. I'm having so much fun over here, dude. Look at this. What the hell, man? This is blasphemy. Copenhagen gosh dang packs, huh? So, right off the bat, um, come on now. There you go. There's Copenhagen packs, okay? Green label. I think they only have Copenhagen packs in wintergreen. I don't know if I've seen it in any other flavors. This is all my gas station had, uh, was the wintergreen flavor. I don't know if they've done mint, straight, natural yet. I don't believe so. Maybe this is just a trial run, seeing how people freaking like it. That is very interesting. And I'm writing that some dick out in my gosh dang brain notes, huh? Freaking Apple, you, you think you're cool with your notepad? I got them in my brain. Call me Elon, dude. Holy shit, these things are freaking weird, dude. Like in my lip. It feels like elastic is in my lip. It's kind of weird. Um, I'm starting to get the flavor now. It's kind of like, um, it feels moist to the touch, but like my fingers aren't stained. But I don't know. I don't even have to spit. Might as well, huh? Come we got the mud jug of the day. It's the gone fishing mud jug right here. All you fishermen out there, boy. This is for you, obviously. But I, I, I gotta tell you this, man, I'm not really getting much out of the pouch. Like I'm not, I feel like, well, maybe because I have it up top. Let me switch her to the bottom. That's so weird, dude. I mean, it's crazy. It can form to your lip, however. That's why they did this. That's insane, man. Yeah, I'm gonna put another one in. Put two in here. Can't remember the last time I ever had Copenhagen pouches. But these are packs, excuse me. These aren't pouches. So I think they're just trying to, uh, they're trying to try these out, you know? Wow. That's freaking nuts, man. And they, they feel like, uh, they kind of feel about the same size in your lip as the other one because they are so stretchy as their other regular pouches, which are one gram, I believe. I think they're like one gram pouches, I believe. Like, but pouches in general, especially Copenhagen, I don't feel like you really have to spit much. They don't juice up on you like crazy. I feel like Grizzly's pouches juiced up on you a little bit more. Um, 
But then again, all the different pouch companies, they're all a little bit different in, in, in each thing. They all have different material. These, I don't know what material this is, but it is crazy. Like it just comes like this, a little dot. And then just when you start playing with it, it becomes a pillow. And then you can stretch it out. Like, let me just see how far this thing will go. Oh no! What the damn, dude? <laughs> God dang it, man. I just cleaned my freaking office. Son of a bitch, Cletus. You gotta be dicking on me, dude. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, man. Hey, we got freaking packs. Now we got long cuts, son. Best of both worlds. We only paid $6.99. Yeah, dude, I think I paid like seven bucks for this freaking can. You believe me? Do you believe me? Can you believe that? Well, I don't know. What the shit? What a freaking mess, man. Damn, this freaking hurts my gums. Like my gum, like it kind of, I wouldn't, it's super soft. I wouldn't feel like it would hurt my gums, but Copenhagen for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like the pat, it used to be Grizzly, dude, back in the day. Grizzly would be the one that they call it the Grizz Green Gum Gasher. When you put that Grizz Green in, you know, that winter grain. But dude, now when I put Copenhagen in of anything, whether it even be Southern Blend where there's no freaking burn, dude, it hurts. I don't know if they're using like crappier tobacco or what, man. It freaking hurts for real, dog. I'm gonna call a freaking Anthem on the phone, dog. Hey, you guys, be, you best get ready. In three days, I'm coming in. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried these Copenhagen packs yet. If you have, what do you think of them? Do you like that style of pouch? Cause that's straight up. I've never seen that type of technology before, man. I'm telling you, they got that shit from space, dog. Thor came down and hit the ground in the desert and, and the freaking guy ahead of Copenhagen was just like, oh, man, I gotta shut up. You guys like boots, man? You guys like boots? You like cowboy boots, son? We got cowboy boots, man. We got black, we got yellow, we got work boots, we got orange, we got Dukes of Hazard, dude. We got belts, belt buckles. We got gosh dang wallets, son. We got all the leather goods you want over there at outlawboots.com. Thanks for letting me do that, y'all. <laughs> Call yourself a, call yourself a country boy. Starting to juice up on me a little bit at the end there. I'm starting to like it a little bit more, but God, the gum gashing, not a fan. I got a, I don't know if you all got this too. Let me know if you've been there because apparently they have their own, I don't know what's going on. Is it focusing on my wall? The shit, dude. I hope it wasn't like that the whole time. Anybody over there? The fuck? Freaking Johnny? Shit. Uh, I got a mailer a couple months ago with this when they came out. Well, not a couple. I think it was last year. It, it's been over a year since this stuff has been out on the market. I'm pretty sure in stores. And in the mailer, it said, hey, come visit us now at our store. They got like a freaking store in Nashville, apparently, where you can like go in and test product. I don't know how it is now with the virus crap, but I don't know. If you guys have ever been there in Nashville, you gotta let me know. And dude. How about this, man? Outlaw goes to Nashville to visit the Copenhagen store. How about that, huh? Who wants to see that some dick right there? Comments, come on, baby. But I'll tell you this right now. You guys know about the old outlaw dip, right? Hold on, let me show you real quick. I'm gonna just pop into the secret drawer dip and just pull out my stash real quick. Look at that colorful gosh dang Skittles rainbow right there, boy. All that outlaw dip lip candy inside. We got tons of freaking flavors for y'all. We've always given you what you wanted. Besides, you know, some things that are coming. Don't worry about it, all right? I know what flavors y'all need, but we got a new flavor dropping next week, you son of a dick. Get ready for that. And if you can guess in the comments, I'll see whoever can guess first what that flavor is in the comments. I'll get your info and I'm sending you a gosh dang six pack when it comes out, obviously. So you let me know. You think? You know? A couple people have already guessed it on our Instagram. I just don't think they know it. But I can say it is not wintergreen or mint. Okay? It is not wintergreen or mint. I gave a little hint of our mint on my Instagram, which you guys can go follow, at Outlaw Dip Co. 
all right? Or just follow me on Instagram, Jared Outlaw, whatever. We got two over there. We got one for the company, one for me. Go Penanga Packs, folks. There's my video on it. I hope you guys dig it. Don't know what's going on with my camera. It's trying to focus on this pretty face, but who wouldn't? Probably my wife. <laughs> there you have it, folks. There you freaking have it, folks. If you guys didn't freaking like it, then fuck yeah, dad. Keep it in, baby.